Yo guys, today Apple released iOS or iPad OS 14 to everyone and today I'm just going to have a review on it. So it's on my iPad Mini 4, it is slow, yeah it makes my iPad slow, but it's okay, it actually works um, fine. It's just a little, uh, just a bit laggy. All right, so let's get let's get into the video right now and start. So first, I noticed the new application called Magnifier. Now, if I tap on it, it doesn't do anything. It just has that. I think it doesn't do anything, so I think that's a bug or something. I don't know what is that. And and these are widgets, new redesigned widgets. Now, if you want to add a widget, you want to go into wiggle mode, tap on plus, and you can add any widget you want. Tap on done to finish. Or you can tap on edit. So I'm just going to add a widget to show you how to add one. So add a calendar widget. So uh, let's just add this small one. Tap on add widget. As you can see, there's a widget, and if you put this widget on top of another widget, um, it'll create a stack. So I'm just going to be showing you the stack on my iPad, the clock, and the um, tips widget. So I have the battery widget and the shortcuts widget. So it's, it's pretty useful, this, this shortcut widget, because like, if I have something in my clipboard, like YouTube, uh, YouTube, and I select that, and I copy that, copy, and tap on clear all clipboards. Um, there's nothing in my clipboard anymore, so super cool. Now I'm going to be showing you how to add widgets that are from applications like the calculator and Google search. So, so go into wiggle mode or tap on edit, that's all. If you want to edit a home screen, we have to do that, tap on customize. And boom, now you can add any widgets that are not from Apple, um, which is super cool. They, they, well, it's hidden in there, so I don't know why Apple hide there. Hide that, hide that there, but super amazing. Now, definitely, um, of course, as you can see, I have a new wallpaper. So, go into wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper, still, and we'll see there's a bunch of new wallpapers or wallpapers that have changed in iOS 14 and... I noticed this new, the uh, new, uh, yeah, feature called sound record, um, record nation, and if you just turn that on, you can actually. So there's a lot of options, and if you turn that on, um, it'll tell you that, um, um, that your device heard it. Um, they'll they'll just give you like a pop-up or something I'm not sure maybe like a notification and there's even baby crying which is super cool next thing that I noticed is actually um, like if you wanna like if you go to accessibility touch access assistive touch you, you don't want to just keep on going back if, if you see that it's too much so just tap on just hold on touch tap on you can now go back to touch or accessibility so just boom you're brought straight to the accessibility page which is super cool now the next one is control center as you can see it's a system right here because i'm recording my screen right so that's pretty easy and there is even a control for um uh um, yes, yeah, sound recognition. So, if you go to control center, you can actually see this control right here. And if you tap on show home controls, it'll show your home controls, which I don't have. Um, and you have to scroll down if you have a lot of controls. So, that's pretty cool. And if you tap, hold on an application, 
you will get this option, don't suggest settings. If you tap on it, it won't suggest the application anymore. So I just didn't suggest, I just don't allow it to suggest maps. Because I don't want it to suggest maps, so yeah. The next one is that it has a new clean interface, which is Siri. and it'll act as Siri. Now, if you do this, put your hand on the blank spot, it'll actually go to wiggle, go into wiggle mode, as you can see. You get wiggle mode, add a widgets, you know, good, good stuff. If you want to get a smart stack, all you want to do is tap on add it, tap on add, tap on smart stack, and you can add the stack. You can even create your own smart stack. Just simply place one widget over another widget, and you'll get on, on, or on top of another widget, and you'll get a stack. Now, for some reason, I tried to put the wither widget on top of the Siri app suggestions widget, and it doesn't work. So the Siri app suggestions widget doesn't. I, mean, I think it's not compatible with smart stacks. So, and this is what it looks like when you have a smart stack. Super cool. Right, so I think that's all I'm gonna um, ha have in this video and see you guys next time. Um, I will be showing you more iOS 14 tips and tricks. So subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bells to get updates, and see you next time. Bye.